Hi everybody, it's Galactic Man Larry here again with another Masters of the Universe action figure review and today we have in front of us from Masterverse Rulers of the Sun, Sun Man, Big Head which is, if I'm right, the main villain for Sun Man and he's looking great in that packaging here we have some artwork of this guy looking all menacing I mean, partly menacing because in my opinion the guy looks also a bit funny with his, you know, big head and uh, yeah there you have the rest of the wave we have checked many face many faces shadow weaver and now we have peak head and yeah the sorceress is coming as well legal stuff more legal stuff peak head let's take this guy out of the packaging and see how good he actually is and there you have peak head out of the packaging looking great with all the accessories he comes with which first of all are this couple of well, not a couple of fist hands I was gonna say, but it's a fist hand and another gripping hand for extra weapons you could give him they have both horizontal swivels as well as the other two hands he's equipped with right now he comes with this shield which you can just slide in in typical Masters of the Universe fashion you know it has the two straps uh, one larger one is just a bit flat there and it has this like kind of Greek pattern well at least I'm calling it like that metallic paint and a bit of purple on the center as well nice nice little piece cast in this kind of magenta plastic he also has his maze which is made out of two different plastics this flexible one well relatively flexible just be careful because you could really warp it and you know stress the plastic it has a bit of metallic flake there and this the the ball you know the the maze itself or the ball what was the name of this thing if you know the name of this is this a morning star no because the, the, of the chain right but you know the pike ball here is a ball with spikes whatever I don't have the word right now please leave it in the comment section below also with metallic flake it's a bit more like a cloudy plastic would be cooler maybe if it would be the same as the handle and chain and he also comes with this kind of snake thing that you can I would say give him in the hand or wrap around his arm whatever it's just like a translucent again kind of milky blue plastic with the shape of a dragon there it has a hair sorry um yeah nice little thing here uh, i never saw sun man i don't know if there was a, an actual cartoon or if it was just like a, a prototype or a project whatever i don't know i know nothing you know but i just know that this guy has such bright colors that it's cool and it's silly that it's really pig head and it's just a guy with a with the head of a you know boar or a pig with all wrong tusks and there you have him you know he has these shoulder pads with the spikes he has also his bracelets with spikes going up or down as you can see both sides he has this very like yellowish neon green lime color kind of thing and the armor is cast in blue plastic with some metallic flake as well as the shoulder pads and the helmet hands boots and the shoes or well, the whole boots are just cast in a blue plastic indigo kind of color i don't know uh, without metallic flake this purple of the fur here is painted on these two parts are cast in the pinkish color plastic and the helmet is cast in the metallic blue and the purple is painted on now the eyes you can see the face is nicely applied the face paint the snout and the tusks as well as the eyes are well placed uh, the spikes on the straps here the strap is removable just that you know but uh, i don't see the reason to remove it right now um the spikes are painted on in that grayish color he has of course waist articulation i guess and these metallic red spots are painted on on top of the black plastic 
and he has a different separate plastic for the skirt and it has like a wash which makes it look really nice and yeah the figure itself you know you can decide for yourself if you guy uh, like this guy or not he's uh, of course an obnoxious character design but he's kind of ganondorf also you know um not ganondorf ganon you know from the early zelda games i mean the idea at least it looks kind of like ganon to me um and you can see the colors are very bright that makes part of the appeal of this character and all of that now for articulation the head can look up that far and it's funny that the guy with a helmet is the one that can actually look a bit upwards in the in this line he can look down that far he has a good amount of tilt to the sides he can turn all the way around this neck is not stiff or something the arms can go all the way around he can only put the the arms this close they sometimes do this thing that they don't add enough cut here so that you can really put the arms together to, with the body but okay is yeah is the way it is the shoulder pads as you can see they are just strapped to the biceps as i removed the figure from the packaging it was all floating around now i think i found the place where they stay but just be aware that yeah they can just start floating around and maybe if i keep them forever in this position they may at some point be stretched you know he has a bicep cut i wouldn't force it i mean just move it as much as you need without uh, you know so that this doesn't become loose somehow double jointed pin pinless elbows uh, but the the magenta pieces here get in the way of the whole bend but it he bends slightly over 90 degrees yeah a bit i mean noticeably over 90 degrees but it's yes it could be more if this piece weren't there wasn't there the hands can go all the way around and are horizontally swiveled he can also slap people with this hand like <coughs> which is cool always nice to have uh, horizontally swiveled as well this gripping hand he has the diaphragm that can bend forward that far so he has a decent man he can look down on enemies he has a that much bend backwards it's also a decent one and he has a bit of tilt to the sides and that's useful i would say he can also turn around and you can mix that with the waist and it's nothing really gets in the way he has a decent amount of movement there that's good to have the legs can do, let's see how far, the full splits maybe? No, but it's because of the skirt. No, this guy, he has that much splits, but I think it's fine. Um, he can kick backwards almost nothing because of the crotch piece. You can see the skirt has a bit of a cut there so that it can actually move. He can kick forward, let's see how far seems to be a bit hindered by the crotch piece below that skirt so it's similar to Roboto it's a bit hindered a bit of a shame but okay it's the way it is so you'll have to do more like the side kick and twisting you know but it's fine you know you have the waist cut and the diaphragm that help you there he has a thigh cut those are nice and um, double jointed pinless knees that can bend that far the fur gets in the way otherwise it would move a little bit further he has the boot cut perfectly hidden with the boot of course and the feet can go backwards that far forward that far and they have a decent yeah i mean decent for masterverse ankle rocker but it will do the you know mixing the whole swivels here it will do the work and for size comparisons, there you have Pighead next to the Spartan Collection Master Chief from Halo 1 as well as Roboto and next to Frosta, Andra, Shadow Weaver and again Roboto and that's it for this review, I think this Pighead figure is really cool looking it's an obnoxious character, as many of the Masters of the Universe characters I guess but uh, the, that's what makes them like cool sometimes, that's the, the charm of the thing <clears throat> and look at the colors, I mean, this guy is 
yeah, he pulls your eye and that's that's what, uh, you know, he grabs your attention and that's sometimes what we want with these figures, you know, that it really catches your eye and you're like, wow, look at that. So, I hope this review was entertaining and useful, uh, more useful maybe, I don't know, whatever is a priority for you. Please leave a like, share, comment, subscribe and all of that good stuff. Take care and I will see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao, ciao.